Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. How could there be good evidence for a literal or historical Adam and Eve? So that's really a good question. I mean, we can't, uh, there's no video camera running during that time. Yeah. How, do we, how do we know they existed? And it's really interesting because the evidence that they existed is you and me. It's the people in the world today. We look at the genetic structure of the human population as it exists today, and it speaks to us of the literal Adam and Eve. It's really, really exciting. Now, all of us have a tiny chromosome in our body called the mitochondrial chromosome, and we only get it from our mother. It's not passed on through the father. And so uh, it's, it's acknowledged by all geneticists that everybody on this planet got their mitochondrial chromosome from a single woman, and tongue-in-cheek, they call her mitochondrial Eve. But she is exactly what you'd expect from the biblical Eve, the mother of us all. And so basically we have nearly identical mitochondria, and the few mutations that we have that differ from Eve's sequence are so few in number that they could arise in the relatively recent past. So you can just, if you just Google mitochondrial Eve and look at the Wikipedia can, uh, link, mm -hmm. you'll see that this is described, the only discordance between a biblical Eve and the evolutionary Eve is the exact dating. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't have time to go into it, but basically their dating method is wrong. Okay. There's a simpler dating method that gives you an early date. So mitochondrial Eve is awesome, uh, and it's totally to the, uh, totally points to scriptural Eve. Um, same story is happening on the male side, and that is all men have Y chromosomes, which they receive from their fathers, and all humanity, uh, all male humanity, trace back to a single man, and again, tongue in cheek, the evolutionists call him Y chromosome Adam. Mm. But he has all the attributes that we would expect of the biblical Adam except that they would use a different a dating method that's flawed, which leads them to think that, um, that Adam lived long ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's new evidence that points to a recent Adam as well. So just one more point on this issue. Um, for over 10 years, it's been contested. Uh, y chromosome Adam and mitochondrial Eve uh, were not partners. They did not have children together. Mm -hmm. They weren't married. Uh, because they, they're using their dating methods, they had like a 100,000 year gap between them. Yeah. It's hard to have children if you don't live, uh, if you live 100,000 <laughs> years apart. So um, the interesting thing is if you go to Y Chromosome Adam on Wikipedia and read about it, they say the dating methods have changed and now they live in the same dating period. Fascinating. So yeah, that argument is gone. Mm. It's dead.